All right, homie. Where are we going? LCS. That's right. And why are we going to LCS? It's no comic book day. That's right. That's right. Any books you want to pick up? Uh, Doctor Who. Doctor Who books. Mm -hmm. And Star Wars books. That's right. And what else we got to do? Uh, uh, pick out comic books. And stuff for uh, Super Russ and 88 Juster. That's right. Let's get it. Knuckle. Knuckle. Boom! And yep, we had a blast. All right. Love today. Today was awesome. Got to go to the LCS with my son. Uh, you know, he, he's no stranger there. He, he's gone a few times with me. Uh, and he, you know, they say a kid in a candy store. Same thing applies for my kid in a comic book shop. Just because there's so much there. Not not only the comics, the the games, the the toys, everything else. He absolutely loves it. And, you know, I don't really get a chance to take my kids that often to the LCS. So, was glad that I was able to do that today. And we did pick up some books. I'm going to be showing those off today. So, this is what I picked up. These are the new books. I also got some dollar bin books. I also found some other books, which I will not be showing. But other people might be showing later on, if they so choose. But, um, anyway... First one I got was Resident number 10. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm about midway through this series. I have a lot of catching up to do. I've loved the read, and I believe this might be the finale. Um, at least that's where I read somewhere. I could be mistaken, um, but I, I definitely need to get caught up. I'm like, I'm like three issues below this, so I need to catch up. But Resident number 10, it's been great. Um, of course... Venom 200 come out today, or 35, Legacy 300. Um, I did go with the Gleason variant just because I just think it's real cool artwork. And there's, it's, this one has a really hefty price tag on it. It's a $10 book. It's a $10 book. So, you know, it's, um, there's another one that I might go grab just because I like the cover of it. But, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how, uh, I believe this is Donny Cates and Stegman's last issue on Venom. Uh, let's see if they go with the bang, right? Um, Nottingham, number four. This has been a fire read. This has been a fire series. Um, they're, you know, it's, they're somewhat hard to find. So, at least for cover price, but these are doing really good on the secondary market as well, but Nottingham. Um, Nightwing 81. So apparently we do get the first, uh, I believe the first full appearance of Heartless, but apparently some others as well. So this is another one that's kind of a hot book. I was able to get a copy, so I'm proud of that. Um, Another, some other first appearances, Usagi Ojimbo. Alright, this is issue number 20. And, uh, yeah, this is actually, I may own some Usagi, but this might be the first one that I remember actually buying in a long, long time. Um, once again, I bought this mainly because it, it might heat up and you never know, it might go to someone special one day. But there you go. You saw Yo Jimbo. I always enjoyed the artwork, just never really read the story. Um, this is so, I had my little man do the intro, and I was thinking about letting him do the showing off the books, but I bought a comic book, and I was like, I cannot let my little man show off this book, because that's going to raise some red flags. Moral red flags first off, right? I would not let my son look at this book. I would not let him show this book. And I'm not even get flagged for YouTube, all right? So, um, Essentia, number five. And I have not read a single thing from Essentia. I'm going to be 100% honest, but this is a crazy bondage thriller cover. Like, it's... I, I could not pass that cover up. All right, so Essentia, number five. There you go. And last but not least, um, I'm actually looking forward to this. This is from Black Caravan Comics. This is the Perhapanauts, right? The Haps come face to face with a Flatwood monster. So basically, it's a bunch of these cryptid 
beings that are like ghost hunters or like they're 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 hunting other cryptids or something. I don't know. But I think this will be a fun read. Um, this is actually from from it's a, it's a Scout comics, but also says Black Caravan, so I'm not too don't know what's going with that. But but there you go. Um, but after that, I did do some dollar bin diving, and instead of like just saving all these and doing a separate dollar bin video, which I have tons of other dollar dollar bin books that I've been waiting to show. I'm just going to show the ones that I picked up today. Uh, so first off, Havoc and Wolverine Meltdown number one. Now this is kind of like a, you know, this is a big book. It's kind of like a one shot almost. But now I get number one, I also got number two. I do not know how many are in the series. It can't be that many just based on the thickness of the book. Um, this this may be the full full thing. There might be more. I haven't looked into it. But um, the artwork is pretty, pretty decent, and I'm going to check that out. But I also did score, and I know there's, it's nothing big, but like I've said before, I'm working on my Amazing Spider-Man run, and a lot of Amazing Spider-Mans are shooting up all over the place when it comes to price, and the, the ones that I'm really lacking on is actually the, the later half of Amazing Spider-Man, believe it or not. So today... Apparently, they, they put a lot of more Spider-Mans in their dollar bin, so I got the Amazing Spider-Man 508. These are art in order. 521. Uh, this is from the Civil War series. Let's see which one comes first. I can at least do that for y'all. 534. 535. And I believe I might have actually just purchased one of these on eBay. But, um, oh well, it was in there and it wasn't marked off my list yet. Uh, 543, back in black. So there you go. I knocked off a few off my ASM run. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. I also did pick up this, the Spectacular Spider Man. Um, I'm assuming this is one of their annuals, um, number two, or part two, or. Like I said, it's still in the bag. I haven't taken it out yet, but it looks like an annual or a special of some type. This one's definitely seen better days. This is definitely a reader copy, but it's one that I don't have yet. And, you know, even though ASM is my main goal, I'm still on the side collecting some of the, the spectacular Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man, and those are the main two, right? I do have... I mean, there's so many of them, right? So, but this is one that I found, and I just could not pass it up. Uh, I've never seen this before, and that is Mort the Dead Teenager, number one, right? So that is just some some craziness that I just could not pass up. I want to read this and see what's going on with it. Um, but once again, I have never even heard of this book. It is Marvel. And, you know, you got this, this guy driving a car, you know, got the, the eight ball as like the, the gear shift. Um, the guy's running and like his head's detached. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I want to know what's going on. All right. So there you go. Those are my pickups for the week. Uh, my new comic book day books and my dollar bin books I, I found today. And I only went through a handful of bins like... Yeah, I, 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 at one point I was like, oh, okay, this is going to be one of those weeks where you went in where the new comic book day wasn't hurting your wallet so much, but your your dollar bin finds are, you know, they're slowly picking up. They're slowly picking up. So I had to, had to pump the brakes, only check a few bins. Um, my kid can only take so much of the LCS before he goes absolutely crazy. He either gets worn out because I'm not buying everything that he wants. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so there you go. Hope all of y'all had good luck with y'all's experience at the LCS today. If you were able to go, hope you got all the books you went. Happy hunting. Um, if you haven't made it there yet, go get them. Go get those books, dude. Get what you want. And with that being said, come back. Check me out tomorrow. Got another vid ready for y'all. And, uh, yeah, love y'all. Check y'all later. Peace.